on a road with a posted speed limit of 45 miles per hour. You approach a signalized intersection and suddenly the light turns yellow. You question whether to slam on your brakes or try to beat the red light. You just entered the Dilemma Zone. There's a lot of debate about the Dilemma Zone. Does it exist? Does it even matter? Well, it does and it should. Studies have shown that by protecting vehicles in the Dilemma Zone, you can dramatically increase the safety of your intersections. And while safety is the primary concern for Dilemma Zone protection, most people are amazed to learn that with the right kind of vehicle detection in place, the Dilemma Zone can also be a great tool for improving efficiency. Imagine technology that bridges the age-old gap between intersection safety and efficiency without compromising one for the other. Sound too good to be true? This technology not only exists, it's been improving intersections now for over a decade. This is Smart Sensor Advance, and it's a forward-firing radar from Wavetronics. Advance accurately and continuously tracks the speed of vehicles and their distance from the stop bar. It calculates each vehicle's estimated time of arrival at the stop bar and only provides Dilemma Zone protection to the vehicles that need it. This is a huge departure from the way Dilemma Zones have historically been managed. In the past, you'd have loops strategically placed along an approach. Let's take a look. Their placement was based on the posted speed limit at the intersection. And this was problematic because it meant only vehicles going the speed limit were properly protected. Cars moving slower or faster than the speed limit either got no protection or too much protection, and in the end, only some cars were guaranteed safer passage, and almost no one was guaranteed more efficient passage. Smart Sensor Advance recognizes that depending on their size, speed, and distance from the stop bar, vehicles can have dramatically different dilemma zones. Advance determines each vehicle's unique dilemma zone and provides protection only when and where it's needed. Advance can be configured to send outputs to the controller only when a vehicle is in its dilemma zone. And filters can be applied to make sure that vehicles that don't need protection aren't a factor. Advance allows you to set your controller passage or extension time very low, from one half second to one second depending on the size of the intersection. Since Advance is telling the controller when a vehicle is in the dilemma zone, this passage time extension is just a failsafe. If you don't lower the passage time, then you will almost certainly hit max out. But if your passage time is set to one second or less, then you will protect all vehicles properly, no matter what speed they're traveling. Not only is this type of protection safer than what you get with spot detectors like loops, it's also more efficient. As Advance tracks speeds, distances to the stop bar for all vehicles, it's also finding safer gaps and preventing excessive max outs. But that's not all. Advance is also brilliant at queue management. Let's say you have an intersection with high speed through movements that you keep on minimum recall. Since these through movements are automatically called by the controller, there's no need for stop bar detection in these lanes. But you still need some kind of queue detection. Advance allows you to do both advanced detection and queue detection from the same device, making it a very cost-effective solution for through movements on recall. Advance features eight detection channels. You simply assign one channel for dilemma zones and one channel for queues, and voila! Now you have both a dilemma zone protection and a very effective queue management system. These multiple detection channels are important because the settings for queue management are quite different than the ones for dilemma zones. Let me explain. For queues, an effective detection zone can begin 100 feet from the stop bar and stretch back to 150 feet. We'll be using only the speed filter to reduce the queue, so go ahead and ignore ETA and other criteria. Set minimum speed at one mile per hour and maximum speed at 35 we'll use speed-based deactivation of the queue clearance channel instead of programming the associated controller input as a queue detector. Lower the controller passage time to around one second and set the controller's minimum green setting to around 15 seconds. At that point in the cycle, Advance will serve as both the cycle extender and the terminator. Now, any vehicle going less than 35 miles per hour will activate your 50-foot zone and trigger a call to the controller. 
Advance will continually scan for gaps in traffic until the max out time expires. This will extend green time for vehicles stopped at the intersection, and once traffic is moving faster than 35 miles per hour, Advance will automatically begin looking for vehicles in the dilemma zone. Yes, Smart Sensor Advance truly makes intersections both safer and more efficient than they ever have been before. And it's all thanks to a little thing we like to call the Dilemma Zone. To request a demonstration of Advance's out-of-this-world capabilities, visit Wavetronics.com. <laughs>